morning everyone. So today is finally the day that we're going to mate in flight the new plane. So real quick let me show you some of the features of it before we fly it. Hopefully it doesn't get wrecked. So it has an Emax 3506 650 kV motor with a 11 by 4.5 multi-rotor prop and I got a nice spinner there that I spray painted. It's, uh, chrome I think it looks really sweet uh, it's using uh, three Emax ES082 uh, plastic gear servos for the rudder and the two aileron servos the elevator servo is an Emax uh, ES08 uh, whatever it's got metal gears it's like the same one with metal gears though I figured I'd add that since if the elevator fails the plane will crash but if any of the other three fail if just one of them fails, I should be able to get it back down on the ground safely. So it was just cheaper that way. Uh, the, the receiver is a uh, FreeSky S6R. It's a uh, three-axis stabilization. So you can hear it's kind of counteract everything. Um, it should be able to fight the wind. It has three flight modes that I have set up currently. Uh, the first flight mode is no stabilization, which would just be like any other plane. And then there's one where it just, it corrects like for um, outside forces, like the wind or anything. And then there's an auto level mode where it just brings the plane back to level. And then there's like a oh crap switch that you can flip and it will um, automatically level it. So hopefully all that works. For the maiden flight, we're going to fly it without stabilization on. Uh, make sure that none of that messes it up. Inside here, we have a uh, 45 amp ESC which is way overkill, but I figured I'd get a really big one with a huge heat sink uh, since it's going to be buried in here so it doesn't get too hot. Um, powered by a, a, a 1300 milliamp hour 4 cell battery. I do have an FPV system on it. This is a ready-made RC Cricut V something. It's uh, the mini one. And I've got a little ready-made RC Strix uh, circular polarized antenna on there. The camera's on the back, it's a Runcam Micro Swift 3, and I have a DVR, it's an Isheen DVR, to hopefully record those flights, the flight video. Uh, that whole system, the camera, the DVR, and this is powered off of a Palulu 5 volt regulator, which is down in there somewhere. And I have a switch that I can use to turn on and off the FPV system, so I don't have to have it on all the time. I have a uh, voltage tele telemetry sensor for the radio so I can get real-time voltage. The wing is held on with rubber bands through these carbon fiber rods that go through here. So that's how that works. That's just held on with Velcro on the front. And I already did a range check, uh, which I usually don't do, but I wanted to do it since this uh, radio was getting uh, low telemetry readings and telemetry loss readings when it was really close to the plane. I think that's a common thing when you just get the antennas too close to each other, but I did go ahead and test it. I walked like 100 feet out each and walked in a big circle, so, uh, and it was all good at the range test mode, so we should be alright. Other than that, I think uh, we're ready to fly. Today it's looking pretty good right now. It's not too windy, except it's kind of cold, so I'm going to get a chance to test out my new uh, transmitter glove thing that I got on Amazon. So let's get flying. All right, it's up. Seems to be flying okay. Need some up, up elevator for sure. Actually, it's flying very well though. It's nose heavy, I think. Right, I'm bringing it in now. Okay, so that went fairly decently. Didn't wreck it. Uh, I think it's a little bit nose heavy or maybe just needs some up trim on the elevator. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the battery back just a little bit and try again. Alright, so for this flight, I have turned on the uh, DVR for the FPV camera and I also moved the battery back about a half an inch uh, to see if that would fix any of the pitching down problems that it was having. 
Still get on all that. Oh boy. Almost hit my bag. <laughs> Alright, that helped a lot actually. Up, up. Alright, I'm gonna take her up a little higher this time. Flying real nice. Uh, give it a lot of up there. A little bit right. Flying pretty good though, I'd say. I think we need a little more up. Yeah, a little more up. Yeah, a little more right. Let's take her up. Alright, got a lot of up now. test the stabilization mode stabilization on. so when I turned on the stabilization to correct the wind oh, that's nice. I really couldn't tell if it was doing much because the plane was actually flying pretty well just in manual mode the plane flies. okay I can't really tell if it's doing anything because the plane's flying really well without it stabilization. <laughs> it's not really doing anything all right let's take it up and then kick it into auto level mode all right and auto level auto. Okay. The auto yeah. level mode did work pretty well. Uh, I just needed to trim it up a little bit because uh, the plane was flying a little bit nose down and that's not very good for auto level. But other than that, it was keeping the wings level pretty well. And then as you try to bank or pitch up, as soon as you let go of the stick, it just writes itself to level. Get on the battery. It might even be able to move the battery back just a little bit more actually. Alright, let's cut the throttle and see how it glides. She glides nose down, so she's definitely nose heavy. Still. A little more up. Alright, I think we can afford to move the uh, battery back even more. It seems to be nose heavy. Still. Bring it in for a landing. Try to get it on camera. Uh oh, no, 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 no. I need to go back the other way. Alright. Here we come. Oh! Those wheels did their job. Just kidding. Still good on the battery? Let's move it back a little bit. Alright, I think this is the fourth flight. Um, I've moved the battery back even more and we'll see how it goes. So, with the battery back even more, the plane flew better, uh, but it still tended to pitch down when the throttle was cut which is quite strange because the center of gravity was getting moved back pretty far from the leading edge of the wing. Uh, here it was probably like 40% back, which is weird. But looking at this video from the tail, it really makes me want to put a couple more cameras on the plane. I think it would be cool to put one on the wing tips, like looking in on the fuselage, or even one looking down, like on the wheels. And then uh, I can record all three of them, or however many cameras I have then maybe have like a switcher so when I'm flying FPV I can switch between the cameras. I think that'd be really cool. So here I decided to do some stall tests. I left the plane in stabilization mode accidentally so it's not really the true performance of the plane at stall. Uh, it would probably drop a wingtip if it wasn't in stabilization mode but that gyro is keeping the wings level pretty well. Uh, but you can see here, I pulled back on the elevator full 
as back as it would go and cut the throttle. It pitches down pretty quickly, but other than that, nothing really bad happens. No spins or anything. Let's try stalling one more time. I attempted to land like three or four times but I just wanted to get a really good landing since the other two or three that I had done weren't very good. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. It's starting to pick up now. So that was the last flight of the day. Um, it was a total of two flights roughly. I think I had one full landing and then one more takeoff. Um, multiple failed approaches. Uh, it was kind of rough landing because we had a pretty strong crosswind landing. I couldn't really get behind myself to do a proper into the wind landing due to the heavy traffic in the parking lot and the uh, telephone wires above the and uh, the sun being behind me but overall it did perform very well the final flight well it already it already cleared itself out but it was about 10 minutes total flying time uh, on the throttle so a little bit longer than that total uh, telemetry okay, shut up. Shut up. I took it up I tried to do a couple of stalls um, I did have stabilization on when I was trying the stalls and I don't know if that was helping a lot. I'm sure it was helping to keep the wings level. But I didn't have enough elevator authority to stall it, which is a good thing, at least up at altitude. Um, the stabilization worked pretty well. Uh, the uh, At least like the, uh, the gyro fighting the wind part of the stabilization. The auto level feature, I'm going to need to uh, trim it up just a little bit as the plane was not quite flying level. It was flying a little nose down. So I think I can go into the Lewis script and adjust that just a little bit. So the wind picked up pretty bad here and the audio from the GoPro is pretty terrible. But some of the things that I would change after doing these few flights is that I might make the ailerons uh, just a little bit bigger. The control surfaces, just it didn't seem like it had quite as snappy of a response as I'm used to. Uh, it still had plenty of control but I just might make them just a little bit bigger. I did uh, completely erase all of my expo 
and the uh, controller. Also, I'm thinking about maybe just building another wing for this plane. I noticed that the wing I have is kind of crooked anyways, the way I build it. Since the wing is so much easier to build than the fuselage, I think it'd be cool to just make another wing. Maybe uh, make it a little bit longer, maybe like five, five or six inches longer, so it can fly a little bit slower. But mainly I think it'd be cool to add flaps to it, because this plane just definitely needs flaps, because it would be a lot of fun landing and taking off with flaps. You'd be able to fly a lot slower. I might want to use this plane to train people, since it does have that stabilization in it. And it seems fairly easy to fly, so I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, overall I think this plane has been successful. It flew pretty well and didn't have any major problems. So thanks a lot for watching, and if you enjoyed this and want to see more videos like this, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button as well. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.